Hi everyone and welcome to this Figma tutorial. In today's video I want to show you how to create this dynamic testimonial card. Alright, let's go and pick the rectangle tool. Let's show a rectangle of 45 pixels and let's add a border radius of also 55 pixels. Alright, let's go and add an avatar. I'm going to use content real. All right now let's go and add our quote text. It's a little bit small. Let me resize that to 100 pixels width and 100 height. All right now for my quote let's give it a size of 20 pixels. Center it and add some line height. Change its color to a dark gray. Alright, let's align it. Now, I'm gonna add a new text layer for my author name, bold and 14 pixels. Duplicate, this will be a regular and a lighter gray. And this will be the jump name. Let's make it 12 pixels. Alright, so this is my quote card so i'm gonna hit command g to group it and then transform it to a frame now let's transform this to a component and then let's go beside it and create a new frame All right now let's go to iconify and let's add our next and previous button arrow Let's first search for the left arrow. Alright, let's pick this one. And then right arrow. Let's pick that. Maybe maybe this is similar. Yes. Alright. Now let's select my two icons and hit this constraint proportion. And let's bring its size to 50 pixels. Alright. Now let's move it to the right side of the frame and this will be to the left or to the right this is the right and this is the left now let's move let me use it let's go to asset and add my asset here in the card all right now let's rename it this testimonial now i'm going to duplicate this two times let's see command v Let's move it to the left and select the testimonial frame and hit clip content so we can see what is happening outside of the frame space. Let's duplicate a second time. All right. Now let's go and populate this with content real. I'm going to change the quote and the user image. So let's go select these two images. Let's go to image. All right. Now for my quotes, I'm going to change all three. Search for testimonial in text. All right, let's resize. I have some issue here. All right, maybe let's transform this to auto layout. And let's group those two things to a group. So this will be fully dynamic. So when we add our content, we will not have issues where each content all right now let's go and rotate this 90 minus 90 degree now you're going to see the results once we add the prototype and animation all right now the goal of this card is when i click to this button this will rotate and replace this and this will rotate and go fall behind right now let's go and hit clip content and transform this to a component and create a new variant all right now for this variant I'm gonna hit clip content and also here clip content so the first thing let's select all the three cards and let's move them with one block until the second will be in the center now let's rotate this 90 degree like that 
and let's rotate this back to zero degree all right now let's hit clip content and also let's create a variant I'm gonna just duplicate this command c and command v all right let's in clip and also move all my quotes until the last one will be in the center and let's rotate this 90 degree and rotate this back to zero degree all right maybe let's move this a little bit to the center also when moving make sure you are selecting all the quotes so you keep the same distance all right now click again now let's go and start connecting the arrows so so for my first prototyping and direction select this right icon and connect it with the second card and let's change it to smart animate on click smart animate and gentle next for this icon for the left one let's connect it with the last card all right also on click smart animate and gentle next let's select the left icon all right this is you can use the layer panels to select easily the arrows and this left arrows we connect with the first card let's keep the same smart animate gentle and for the right we go to the last card and then let's connect the third this will go to the precedent card and this will go to the first card and with this we have made a a loop a slider loop all right now let's test all this so let's create a new frame i'm gonna add a bright color and let's drag our testimonial card inside its center and let's hit play now if we click all right if we click back if we go back all right and this is our carousel loop working great thank you for this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.